reading today is from Luke chapter 19 and reading from verse 45. While all the people were listening, Jesus said to his disciples, Beware of the teachers of the law. They like to walk around in flowing robes and love to be greeted in the marketplaces and have the most important seats in the synagogues and the places of honour at banquets. They devour widows' houses and for a show make lengthy prayers. Such men will be most severely punished. As he looked up, Jesus saw the rich putting their gifts into the temple treasury. He also saw a poor widow put in two very small copper coins. I tell you the truth, he said, this poor widow has put in more than all the others. All these people gave their gifts out of their wealth, but she, out of her poverty, put in all she had to live on. Amen and thanks be to God for his word. Jesus is in the temple and sees the leaders of the temple parading around as though they were very important. They were looking for people to bow to them and give them respect and reverence. He knows how they love to take the best seats of honour in the synagogue and always be at the top tables and banquets. Beware of them, said Jesus, because their lives don't match the honour that they have been given. For their lives are far from God. They would even scrupulously take advantage of a poor, defenceless widow, that in a time of bereavement they would take her property, and this widow would have by no means to live by. But they will receive their just rewards. So Christ sees into the hearts, and he's not happy with what he observes in the leadership of the church at this time. But he says to the disciples, look up, look at this poor defenceless widow that's come in to the temple. Watch her. She gives all that she has, albeit a few coins. She has nothing else to live on. She gives it all, trusting that it will be used wisely for God's service. It's a great story and it falls into Holy Week the last week of our Lord's life. And our Lord challenges us to think about giving. Yes, an uncomfortable subject, because a widow's might does not represent the least we can give, but the most, our very all. When we sing the lovely hymn, Take my silver and my gold, not a might will I withhold. We are telling God that everything belongs to him. Winston Churchill once said, We make a living by what we get. We make a life by what we can give. But we can give in all sorts of ways. And today, through this coronavirus, many are giving of their time and talent in God's service to help, to care and support others in need. Again, I draw it to your attention. Let us thank God in our prayers for the dedicated self-giving of those in the front line fighting the virus who are literally, literally giving their all. The spirit of the self-giving widow in the temple it's clear and obvious today through the selfless work of those individuals called to be part of the nation's fight against this invisible enemy. They are giving all that they can and to some they have paid the ultimate sacrifice of their very lives. We owe so much to those workers who are on the front line. May God bless them and protect them at this time. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, we bring our lives and concerns to you. 
You who are our Heavenly Father, from whom all life comes, trusting in your power and love, we bring to your love all those who have committed their lives to you, those in ordained ministries, that they may grow into spiritual maturity and live always as freed sons and daughters of God. We bring to your love the world, its problems, mistakes, errors of judgment, especially today with the coronavirus. We pray that in every society, in every sector of life, your light would shine, Lord, and your peace be known. We bring to your love the deaf, the blind, the partially sighted, all those who are chronically ill today through the virus, and all who tend them, that even in all their hardships they may know life in all its fullness. We bring to your love our families. We pray for them today, especially those whom we are isolated from, that they may be blessed and strengthened by you who is life itself. Heavenly Father, we remember those who are widows today and those who struggle, Lord, on their own. May they know you to be their Heavenly Father. In the stillness of silence, let us express to you our own particular burdens of prayer. As in the story of the widow, who gave her all. We also, Lord, come to you now and we commit ourselves into your care and your love, giving you everything that we have. We bring these prayers through Jesus Christ, through whom we have life in abundance. Amen. <laughs> 